Hey, what's up, Connor? This is Holden. Uh, I said I was going to send you over this short video. Basically, in the video, I just want to go over a few things that I think you guys can can do and implement yourself that will actually you know, allow you guys to start getting some more traffic to your business, getting found easier in the search results online. Um, and these are all things that you can kind of do yourself. These are really what the basis of SEO is when it comes to getting found easier in Google. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, I got your website up here. What, you know, it looks pretty nice. Uh, we talked a little bit more about you know, having some co comment forms or call to action forms uh, so people can reach out to you right away. Uh, maybe have some more resources up here for people to reach out to you rather than just this little call button. Um, at least some, some extra stuff that's like right in the field of view when people first get to the website. But in addition to that, when it comes to Google optimization, you know, the first thing Google really looks at is content. They want to see at least 1,500 words of content on your homepage. Um, so I'd say you're falling short a little bit of that 1,500 words. Definitely adding some more content to your homepage, making it more relevant is something that Google likes to see. So by adding in that content, that'll kind of help you rank a little bit as well. Now, in addition to content, you want to add in specific keywords. And I know you already know what keywords are, but just to reiterate, they're basically anything that someone searches for in the search bar to find you. So over here, I have this tool called Arefs, and it basically is one of the more powerful tools in our industry to kind of take a look at what, you know, how much traffic someone's getting to their business and why. But here I got all your keywords that you guys rank for, and this tool just kind of shows me, you know, how much traffic comes in for a specific keyword. So for example, San Francisco helicopter tour, this one has about 900 people search this term a month, and you guys are getting 38 people to your website that are searching for that term, and that is because you're in position number eight. So there's obviously only 10 positions on a page of Google, so you're on the first page, uh, but to be able to get a little bit higher on the page for those specific search terms will allow you to get more traffic because um, it kind of dwindles down the further down the page you go, right? But you can see all the keywords that you have here and what position you're in for those and how much traffic you're getting. So for helicopter ride San Francisco, you're getting 31 and you're in the position of eight. So you're getting a lot of traffic for helicopter tours in San Francisco. You can pretty much target different areas uh, by adding those different keywords into your content as well. You know, I'd say adding in specific pages for those areas will help you a lot. Uh, also, rather than just having all these keywords on one page. So if you had a different page for San Francisco, Big Sur, or uh, Monterey, or Napa, right, that would allow you to rank those pages individually and target those areas uh, a little more efficiently. But you have a lot of areas that you are getting traffic from. Um, it kind of dwindles down the further down you go here. You got a lot of stuff in the Bay Area, Yosemite, um, let's see, winery helicopter tours. You have one for Monterey airplane here. You get five people a month on that. Um, but you can see all the different ones. You just want to make sure you're targeting specifically the areas you want to target and make sure that you're using keywords that are buyer intent. So buyer intent is keywords that are basically these ones here, like helicopter tour. You know that people are looking to hire that person right away as opposed to someone who's searching something like helicopter tour prices, you know that they're they're more so looking and doing the research rather than ready to reach out and hire someone to do this tour right away. So make sure you're including those keywords that are, are buyer intent. Now in addition to that, um, the next thing I want to show you is basically this right here. This is the Google Map Pack. So this is one of the best ways to collect traffic because right it's right underneath the ads. I see that you guys are running some ads up here. Um, this is a free tool in Google and it basically allows people to see locally you know what what businesses are around them and there's only three spots so you want to make sure you're up in the top three and to do that what you need to do is get your name address and phone number of your business into as many directories as possible these are things like Facebook yellow pages Yelp you know all your social media accounts pretty much anywhere that you can get your name address and phone number and you want to make sure that everything is consistent across all of them so that means if your hours on your Facebook are different than the hours on your website, you know Google will see an inconsistency there and they'll start deducting you authority points in that aspect. So make sure when you're building out all these directories that you are actually making sure that everything is exactly the same across all of them. Um, and that'll allow you to rank up here a little bit higher. So you, you can see down here Alcatraz Tours has almost 1,300 
reviews versus San Francisco Helicopters only has 53 reviews and they have less of a uh, ranking score. They have less stars. And that's probably because these guys have a lot more directories. So you know that it's super important to do that. Now down here, it's the organics area. Um, this is pretty much where, so 70% of people actually just click up here and then the remaining 30% kind of dwindles down to the organic area. You guys are on the first page for a lot of things like San Francisco helicopter tour. But if you want to get bo boosted up a little bit higher, what you need to do is get something, uh, what we call backlinks. Backlinks are basically links from other websites that link to your website. You know, these are, you know, different different companies linking to your website, whether you're being promoted in, uh, in on other websites and different magazines or stuff like that, like Viator.com, if you have your, your link in there, this is probably a great place to have a link because it's already ranking on the first page. But the more of these links you have, that's kind of your authority in Google, and that pushes you up in the search results. So if we look over here, back in our refs, this kind of shows me a little bit about your website as far as your, your links. So you have 178 websites linking back to your website 582 times. So that means a lot of these websites are linking multiple times. Um, that's totally fine. Just know that power only transfers from one website once. And this over here kind of shows me your domain rank, which is in your URL rank. So this shows me the, the quantity of links that you have based over the quality of those links, right? So you want to have these two numbers as close together as possible and as high as possible. And that basically is just a, a health score of your backlink profile. Now, not all backlinks aren't cre are created equal, right? You want to make sure you're getting links from websites and sites that are relative to your industry, have high authority themselves. Um, and that's, that's what really gives your website the power to, to be boosted up in the organic search results. And over here, this is just kind of an overview of you know how many keywords that you guys are ranking for. So you guys have 865 keywords that Google recognizes as keywords that people search for, and you're getting about 526 people to your website a month um, for those keywords. It's just all about picking the keywords that are relative to your business and will actually you know get you guys the the customers that you're looking for for particular services and then this over here just shows me you know how many keywords that you guys are ranking for that are paid search and how much traffic you're getting per month through that paid search so you guys are running ads right now for about seven different keywords and you guys are getting 126 people a month through those ads so that's pretty much it as far as you know a few things that you guys can do just to reiterate you know adding more content to your website and picking out specific keywords that, that people are searching for to find you, um, ones that are relative to the areas you want to service and the services you offer. And then for Google My Business, get your name, address, and phone number out there into as many directories as possible, creating social accounts, things like that. And then finally, to get ranked in the organics, you know, start getting boosted up in the search results, um, trying to get into the number one, two, three position. You want to make sure that you're finding those backlinks, reaching out to other uh, companies, magazines, things like that, news releases that you can promote your website and get a link from their website to your website will help you rank in that aspect. So I hope this was helpful. And if you want to chat some more, definitely reach out. Any questions you might have, I'm, I'm, I'm here to help you. So, but I'll talk to you later. Thanks for checking out the video. See you, Connor.